Welcome to the She Is Podcast, where we are encouraging and equipping women to be confident in God's promises. I'm Jamie. I'm Sherry. I'm Nicole. We are women in different ages and stages of life. We are active in ministry and are here to have a Bible-based conversation about our identity in Christ. So get ready to be encouraged and equipped as we share with you today. Hello, everyone. We want to thank you for joining us again for the She Is podcast. We're going to be picking up where we left off on our last episode. Um, She is right on time. And we're going to talk today about kind of how the podcast originated, Mm -hmm. what what was on Sherry's heart uh, when she brought us together to start recording and start, well, really start dreaming about what what we wanted to do Mm -hmm. so um we just we just encourage you to listen in on our conversation and um yeah we're just learning about god's timing and um and just his presence in every Mm -hmm. aspect Mm -hmm. of our lives so we hope you enjoy this conversation from the she is podcast well and it (laughs) kind of goes along with um because i've been chewing on it too and and it kind of goes along with the other things that the Lord and I have been kind of talking about, and it's His timing. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. you know, even this, even even what we've talk, been talking about, Genesis 32, 32, 24. 24 yeah. um, that's, that's the scripture we've been referring to. If you haven't had an opportunity to listen to last week, we are talking about um, Genesis 32, 24. Um, and and how he wrestled with the Lord and um, and we do that, but the timing, the timing of that, y- you know, mm-hmm. I, I mean, he lived for how long? One hundred and thirty years, I believe. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's a long time, mm-hmm. and and so he he, I guess you could say, struggled with some stuff. I mean, yeah. he had a past. He had some stuff that he had struggled with. And and the timing of it, you know, sometimes I just wonder, I know that the Lord's timing is always perfect, but sometimes we, just like this, mm-hmm. he's wrestling with the Lord in the physical now, but he had not planned on that. He didn't know that that's what he was going to be doing for the evening, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but the Lord knew that that was the timing. The Lord knew that was when he would be strong enough and and maybe even vulnerable enough to finally say, this is what I'm having a problem with, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? And, and I think sometimes we don't put enough emphasis on the timing, yeah. on the Lord's timing, because we try to do things in our timing. Yeah. So I, for me, I... I don't know. So that took me to different scripture in Genesis because, and it was a different story too, but it's, it's uh, talking about Sarah, you know, where Sarah's been told she's going to conceive Genesis 21 two. let me just get there, um, which is a different struggle. Um, but it's a struggle nonetheless because she had struggled for so long not having children, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so um, mine says birth and near sacrifice of Isaac in Genesis mm-hmm. 21, uh, 21 2. So let me just read that. Uh, I'll just start at one. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. I mean, in that sentence alone, there's a couple of things. Sarah had struggled for many years to, and, and didn't have a child, right? Yeah. And so... So here she's wrestling with God. Why can't I have a child? What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Right? Because we always do that. And and then when she was told she was going to have a child, she laughed at it. Yeah, right. (laughs) In my old age, sure. And and then she 
she does get pregnant and she does have a son and and it was exactly as she was told the timing of that the the promises in that you know Jamie you've talked about the promises and and how you know do we do we rely on those promises do we know do we I, I mean we've talked about a lot of these things before in the other podcasts but I think it's important that we keep talking about it because I think sometimes the Lord's timing for the promises that He has for us don't always line up for what our carnal mind thinks, right? Yeah. And so sometimes it, it brings us back to the other Genesis is, is He going to have to wrestle us and, you know, knock a hip out in order for <laughs> us to, right? Because are, are we... Are we trusting the Lord with what He has? Is His timing mm. perfect? You know, and um, sometimes we get a dream. I know, Nicole, you do writing. Jamie, you do you you do beautiful jewelry, and uh, you do a lot of stuff. You also y- you play music and you write music, don't you? Uh, it's been a while, but <laughs> and so <Yeah. laughs> I mean, we have these dreams and we have these gifts and and it may not be a baby. It may not be like what Jacob was wrestling. But we have our own little things that we've been given or that we think mm-hmm. that we've been given. And then we wrestle that out until it comes, right? Yeah. And so I wonder sometimes what well, just like for instance, the podcast. Yeah. You know, I was given this dream. I had never listened to a podcast. <laughs> never. Wasn't even... I, I, it wasn't even anything I was interested in, to be totally honest with you. <laughs> I, I, was, I just wasn't, you know. And, but, but then when the Lord gives us something... And we know it's from the Lord. That starts, it starts growing in us, right? And then we, we get the desire for that. And then our mind, that's what we're focused on. And then, and, and it's no different than wanting a baby or wanting the blessing or wanting. It's something that it, it's birthed in us. And then we want that. And then people like me is like, well, can I do it like right now? You know, you've you've called me to it, so let's just do this thing. Yeah. And but yet, there's perfect timing in it. Mm-hmm. There's you still have you still have to walk this out. You still have to pray about it. You still have to seek the face of the Lord in it. So I mean, it's not like you started writing and it was just like, okay, well, I know how to write, and I'm just going to do this, <laughs> right? No. You depend mm-hmm. on the Holy Spirit to help you to do that, and the timing, and the who, and the and so I just. Yeah. I think sometimes we, for me, I rush into things instead of waiting upon the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that's when I start wrestling with me Mm -hmm. and the Lord because then it's like, well, why can't I do this yet? (laughs) Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't I do this? Why can't I? You promised me, so when's it going to happen? You said, so when am I going to get and I get impatient hmm. in the waiting. Yeah. How about you guys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I think um, the thing with time, time is something that that we experience that God doesn't really experience. Right. I, yeah, I, right. It's hard to put into words, but I, I think God experiences all of time at the same time <laughs> yes. because he's that he's God. Mm-hmm. He is everywhere at once. And so why should his timing come in the same way that ours does? You know, it's we true. we just see things in a linear line from, you know, point A to point B mm-hmm. and and we are only in one place on that timeline at a time mm-hmm. and he's in all of it mm-hmm. yeah. at yes, the same yeah. time at the same time right I don't know That's, it's a lot for our little brain to wrap around it is. but it's mm-hmm. true yeah. it's very true yeah. well, and he's, he's he's a God without time he doesn't depend on time Mm -hmm. we do and that you know before there were sun moon and stars to keep (laughs) track of time yes 
God was. Right. And so, yes. it, and that's that's hard for us to wrap our minds around because all we know is time. Mm-hmm. Um, but He's He created it mm-hmm. <laughs> for yeah. us. Yeah, for <laughs> so, us. Mm-hmm. anyway, that's th- when I have a problem with God's timing versus His promise. Mm-hmm. I think I, that that's just how I kind of just spiritually will take a step back and try to grasp that his timetable is so much different than mine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when he speaks things, he, they don't necessarily happen because he spoke them. They just are Mm -hmm. as he speaks them, but not to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I feel like I'm just (laughs) going a little, a little off the deep end with that. (laughs) Deep thoughts with Jamie. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one. We haven't done a hashtag in a while. I know. That's a good one. (laughs) No, I think that's really good mm -hmm. because I'm the same way. Like, I'm always looking to the future. And I Mm -hmm. think that causes a lot of stress and um, unneeded expectations on myself. Mm -hmm. Be like, you know, Pinterest, Instagram, all those Mm -hmm. things. You're looking at other people and you're like, why can't I be there right yeah, now? Yeah. Like, as far as, like, my business, my writing business or my jewelry business, I've been doing the jewelry for, like, seven years. And I <clears throat> got into trouble, I mean, as far as, like, in my own identity and tying mm. my identity to my business. Oh. Because I'm, like, I'm not successful, so obviously this is not what God wants me to do. And I think we get to, you know, it's hard work. It's really hard work. It's a lot of work. And Mm -hmm. everyone has different definitions of success, Mm -hmm. but it's like, I I had, and that's where you'll probably get lots of um, people's advice. Exactly. Do this training and do this, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, (laughs) there's so many things Mm -hmm. out there that you can do. And I'm not that person. So, but thank you, but I'm Mm -hmm. not them. And it's really relying on God, Mm -hmm. God's voice in that. Cause it's Mm -hmm. like, well, if you're a Christian, you shouldn't have a business. It's just greedy. It's just <gasps> selfish. And oh. I've had that a few times. Not a lot, but a few times. And just like, oh. um, but no, it's like God wants to use that. Yes. And Whoever tells you that, you need to tell them to read <laughs> Proverbs 31. Yes. Because, exactly. uh, because that's says- a businesswoman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. So, and God wants to use the gifts that he's given us. Yes. For his glory. For his glory. And so, Mm -hmm. I think, you know, sometimes we get too ahead of ourselves, but I think Mm -hmm. sometimes we can also quit too soon. Oh. Because I feel like Jacob's story is about tenacity. Yeah. He wrestled all night until he got what he needed from God. Yes, it's true. And it's like, okay, so I've been doing this for seven years and I haven't seen, quote unquote, the success Mm-hmm. that I think I should, but I've gotten to talk to so many people over the years and yeah. um, just those amazing times that God puts in your path. Mm-hmm. I think it makes it all worth it. Mm-hmm. Like, and so if you have a dream, don't quit too soon. Like you're five yards from the goal line. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. Don't quit right. too soon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you're right, right there. Mm-hmm. And so if God has placed a dream in your heart, he will equip you. Yes. In the right timing, he will reveal that Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. anyways maybe that's off topic a little bit but well and I you know because we've got a couple of different scriptures I mean both of them in Genesis two totally different stories one about Jacob Mm -hmm. and wrestling with God to get his blessing and all the things he walked through and then Mm -hmm. the second one the uh, uh, about Sarah. uh, Sarah wanting so bad to be a mom but she had to wait until the end Basically, mm-hmm. I mean, she waited a very long time yeah. Yeah. to get what her desire was, and and in a way, I'm thinking, how how can these two be the same? How can we talk about both of these? Mm-hmm. We're going to get off topic, and I don't think so because mm-hmm. no. because both of them are genuinely us and them wrestling with God mm-hmm. until we know that we know. That that's what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, because they did. They both, they're two totally different stories. Of course, men and women want different things and need different things out of their life. 
But it's the exact same story, mm-hmm. waiting and depending on the Lord yeah. for what He has when He has it. And they both had name changes. They both had name Pastor changes. Pastor talking about that in our sermon today. <laughs> yes. Too. Yes. Yeah. So I, I just, I don't know. I just wanted us to talk today about about that. Mm-hmm. We, we do. We jump ahead. I hadn't mm-hmm. thought about stopping too soon. That's basically giving mm-hmm. up before yeah. the Lord has a chance to reveal. Yeah. And then how does he move in that? Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, if we've given up. So did so some people could say did you give up on your dream or did you give up on God? Mm-hmm. Did Sarah give up on the dream of being a mom or did she give up on God? Mm-hmm. You know, I, and I think that those are good questions. And I think that sometimes we think, nope, I just gave up on the dream. Really? Because then the way we Mm -hmm. seek God, the way we're in our word, the way we worship, did those things change also? Hmm. So, because it just made me think of this. Sarah got her name changed, like, I think it was 10 or 11 years before her son was born. Mm -hmm. And Pastor was talking about this. Like I said, her name was Sarai at the, mm-hmm. at the beginning, noble or princely. Mm-hmm. And then she got her name changed to Sarah, which means mother of princes. <laughs> yeah. So he was declaring prophetically over her for 10 years, 11 years, before she even had a baby. That's true. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if she got to a place where she's like, well, this is never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, God must have been wrong about me or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. extra biblical. But... I mean, if I were but in the same position, know, like, right? I wonder, like, I probably would have given up on it, too. It's like, mm-hmm. this is, I'm 90 years old. This is right. never going to happen. Right. <laughs> like, but then, at that yeah. point, who gets the glory? God. <laughs> Only Always gets God. the glory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because there's no way, I mean, if that were to happen today. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> right? I mean, we would have all these explanations for <laughs> right. why right. it happened. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But... You know, when someone's 90 years old getting pregnant, there's only one explanation mm-hmm. for that. Yes. yes. There's, there is God. no natural way that that right. is well, true. Right. Because she would have gone through menopause already. Like Absolutely. She would have been yeah. able. Her body yeah. would have done the natural changes, yeah. but yeah. it didn't. And that's what, I mean, that's what she's saying. And that's why she laughed. It's like, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> you must not know how this thing works. <laughs> Right. Let me fill you in. <laughs> it's and like so, that's why it's so such a miracle. Yeah. It's like her yeah. body was rejuvenated to be able to carry life again. Mm-hmm. But then about her laughing, because I know like she was chastised for laughing. Yes, she was. Mm-hmm. But then later, after she mm-hmm. has Isaac mm-hmm. in twenty one six. Oh yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It says and Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh. Everyone, I'm in this weird version, I don't know. Everyone that heareth will laugh with me. Mm-hmm. And so it's like she laughed again, but the heart was, a different, was different. different. It wasn't mocking, it wasn't doubting, it was just joy. absolute yeah. joy. Yeah. Yes. And, and also so just good. magnifying God mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and knowing mm-hmm. that it was from God and that she can laugh about it and have mm-hmm. this joy about it. And then yes. everyone that sees will laugh <laughs> yes. with joy too. Yes. Because how, how can you not mm-hmm. when you yeah. see, mm-hmm. you know, a 90 mm-hmm. year old woman with <laughs> a newborn baby, yes. like, Oh my gosh, let's celebrate together. This is amazing. <laughs> and a continued celebration yeah. continued yeah. yeah, because not only did she have him, but she got to raise him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 90, mm-hmm. come on, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she lived to 111. So, I mean, that's so oh. 90 to 111, what, that's 21 years. Yeah. So she got grown. to see her child grow. And doesn't his name mean laughter? I, Isaac means laughter, doesn't it? Maybe, um, I don't know. <laughs> so, right. I'm, and so, yeah. So I just thought it was important to talk about that today. <laughs> because we do. We give up. We get ahead. Yeah. Well, and here's another thing, too, is that the time we spend waiting is not wasted. Mm, because true. That's really good. We are, there are things being cultivated in us yeah, and growing yeah. in us while we wait that equip us to 
fulfill the things when it's time. Mm -hmm. And not that everything's going to be perfect when it's time, but you know, it's, it's like, it's mm -hmm. like the schooling. If this is yes. yeah. school years, like I'm not, I'm not ready to be out in the world yet, but I'm just going to gather, 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 grow, grow, grow. Yeah. And then someday, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's, that's a sewing right mm -hmm. into yeah. ourselves. And yeah. then someday I'm going to reap what yes. has been sown yes. and I'm going to sow some more and that's I'm going to reap a harvest mm -hmm. from all those things and so yeah. the time we are we are waiting for to see that promise come to fulfillment is never wasted mm -hmm. because right. God God doesn't waste anything no. and you know you've heard that that phrase easy come easy go right mm -hmm. if 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 God had answered Sarah and Abraham's request for a son mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 70 years earlier right yeah 80 years earlier you mm -hmm. know it, it wouldn't have meant the same thing it wouldn't right. have um they wouldn't what would their relationship with the lord be like mm -hmm. you know what would their dependence on the lord look like if mm -hmm. they hadn't learned to just depend on him and trust in his promises <laughs> yes. they yeah. didn't trust in his promise for a couple years Right. Before they saw it, they, yeah. they trusted in it for decades. Yes. Yeah. And waited. Yeah. And doubted. And <laughs> tried their own thing. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. Right. <laughs> right. That one didn't work out so good. <laughs> yeah, but that's but that's really for anything. Yeah. It's just like yeah. just because God promised it and you don't see it yet, that does that's no excuse mm -hmm. to give up mm -hmm. or to stop. So because good. now's the time to prepare for that promise. Yeah. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing to get ready for that? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So just because you're waiting doesn't mean God changed his mind about you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Well, and this is the thing about, you know, we talked about God's promises. Like mm -hmm. he, he, he never breaks the promise right. because he can't lie. So if right. he said it, it's true. Mm -hmm. Period. Period. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah. <sighs> I'm a little worked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well what'd you have? Well, I was just going to say, I know we kind of started talking about um, when we, when you wanted to start this podcast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we quite finished your thought there before no. we detoured a no, little bit. No, but it was so good. <laughs> the detour, I mean, it... Some people say rabbit trail. I don't. Those are those are godly conversations, and I think mm -hmm. that they're important. Yeah. Um, well, right. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I didn't know about a podcast. Didn't want to know about a podcast. Let's just put that <laughs> out there. Um, but but you know the Lord when the Lord has an idea, it to me it sounded silly, but there's nothing silly with God, right? right? And so when he wanted me to do a podcast, I'm like, I, I'm not listening to one. I don't know anything about them. You're going to have to bring people to me that do. And immediately I saw the face of Nicole and Jamie. And I was like, <laughs> ooh, I love them. And they're so smart and <laughs> <laughs> yay. And they're so talented and they can do this and they can do that and they can do, you know, and and the Lord said, well, so can you. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we forget about that, too. We see that in someone else, but are we seeing it in ourselves? Mm -hmm. And so then it was like, okay, well, all right. So I need to educate myself in this. So I started <laughs> listening to podcasts. And, and, then, and then I finally worked up the courage to talk to the two of you. And... It was such a blessing. The two of you, the countenance, when I just first said, hey, so, uh, so, so everybody knows, I, I called Jamie and Nicole and I said, hey, so you got a minute? Let's have a meeting. And they didn't know what it was about, I don't think. Did I tell you? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. And so we sat right here at this desk without the blanket and the board <laughs> and the recorder. And I said, I think that the Lord has given me this vision of doing a podcast. And I don't know what that's like. And I've not done it. I don't listen to him. I don't know anything about him. And I'm not even sure if this is what I want to do. But the Lord has put this on my heart. What do you think? And both of you, your, your little faces lit up. And I think, Jamie, you said, I've been wanting to do this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And just didn't really see, uh, I guess, a, yeah, an open door or an opportunity, knowing that I, I, it's not something that I could really do by myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you brought it up, I was just like, I can have conversations. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't know about, yeah, just talking because my husband does a podcast and it's just him and I'm like I, I can't really, <laughs> I, I can't, do that I mean I don't want to say I can't do that but oh, that's true. it's not really like me I don't see mm-hmm. myself in that role but um but I do love conversations you mm-hmm. know small groups in in growing together and mm-hmm. it was something yeah as soon as you mentioned it it's like yes that could actually be <laughs> kind of the fulfillment of what I mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Felt on my heart too, but didn't really know how it would happen. So. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And Nicole, your eyes lit up too. Yeah. And honestly, I never really thought about doing a podcast before, but something just like leapt inside me. I was like, "Ooh, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's do that." And and we did. So we were yeah. like immediately, "Yes, mm-hmm. let's do that." Yeah. But then it becomes a okay, but how? Mm-hmm. How are we going to do that? Who are we going to do it with? What What does that look like? What is What is it about? What what's, are we, yeah. right. what's the name? What's yeah, yeah? All the things. How do we record it? Who <laughs> you know? And then it was oh, it has to be edited and what and uh, which ours hardly gets edited. We we just let it be in the raw. <laughs> we're just we're it's just like sugar in the raw. <laughs> right. That's the best. That's it's, just, it's sweet and it's good and it's just right there. <laughs> um, no, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say unrefined, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uncensored. Raw, raw is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Gosh. And so we did. We jumped in. And we yeah. talked and we met and we talked some more. And then at some point we were like, we need to quit talking about this and just do this. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we just set a date. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we the were all, yeah. I'm only speaking for myself, but I was shaking in my shoes. I'm like, I okay, Lord, I'm totally giving this to you because I don't know how to do this. I don't know what to do about this. I know nothing about this. And so you get all the glory. You get all the everything, Lord, because I don't I don't know. I'm just going to do what you tell me to do, and I'm going to show up when, when you tell me to show up. And, and, and we talked about, well, what are we going to talk about? Well, it's got to be the Bible. It's got to be out of Scripture. It has yeah. to be Scripture. And... And I think it's evolved. You know, now mm-hmm. we do funsies and we do all these other things. Mm-hmm. And um, we've allowed the Lord to cultivate it. Mm-hmm. We we were just being obedient. Mm-hmm. We said yes. Mm-hmm. That's all it was. Yeah. We said yes to this funny little dream, this little vision. <laughs> and And then we literally handed it to God and said, okay, we're mm-hmm. going to let you do this and we'll just be your mouthpiece i guess and um i get rocked i get saved every time we do it you know (laughs) it's just you know there's and and i think that that's part of that is when you do decide okay lord i've got this i've got this vision i've got this dream is this from you Mm. or is this me and i think it's a great thing to ask is this Mm -hmm. you or is this me and and then step out in that we we could have drug our feet trying to get it all Mm -hmm. perfect and all everything equipment yep yeah yep and we chose not to do that Mm -hmm. that one i think one uh, one meeting we were like we need to quit talking about it and just do it Mm -hmm. you know and and pastor has said from the pulpit don't talk about the Lord's work be about the Lord's mm, work and good. it was that same yeah. thing it was well we can meet until there's nothing to meet about or we can just dive in and do just this do it yeah. just do it yeah mm-hmm. well and that's the thing also with you know just getting prepped and getting the stuff you need it's like you don't know what you need until mm-hmm. you just jump just in and do it, do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know and that's for anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything in life. Just just step out there. You're never going to have everything mm-hmm. right off Mm-mm. the bat. You no. just Yeah. Once you have enough to start, just start. It, it'll... Because right? it's... It's... it's it's like a it's an organism right it grows and changes as we do like we didn't Mm -hmm. know this what this was going to be god did but it's like he 
that's another thing. It's just growing in the process. Like yeah. you just, it's, it's not going to reach fulfillment overnight. Mm -hmm. You just, you grow and you allow yeah. and you adapt and you mm -hmm. al allow yourself to, to change learn, and to yeah. learn and to, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, and then you know what you need <laughs> as you go. You're like, Oh, you know right. what we need? We need this. Okay. Well now I can actually see that Yeah. because we're in motion. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because sometimes until until you step out and start doing it, there's no way of knowing. Yeah. So you can't, I mean, there's, we didn't know how to prepare, mm -hmm. you know, and we started, we're just sitting around my desk here in my office and we knew, okay, well, if a siren goes by, maybe we should be quiet and let that go by and then maybe they can edit that out. But, but that was learning too. And, and then it was, oh, well, that sounded kind of weird. We need something to help absorb the sound. So... Enter in the little Mexican blanket that has, I mean, it's just a little blanket. And we laid that on the desk. Oh, well, well, you know, what did we talk about? What scriptures did we use? Well, here's a board. Mm -hmm. I erased stuff off a board that I had sitting on my desk. And and it it's for daily use. And yet we, we scribble and write all over it. Well, we don't. Nicole does. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. I'm the official secretary. Yes. <laughs> and she writes and she takes little notes. and But we wouldn't do any of it without the Lord. Mm -hmm. We, you know, and sometimes I'm like, ooh, am I prepared for it this week? Well, one, have I been in the Word? Yes. Mm -hmm. Two, do I still have a good relationship with the Lord and I communicate with Him daily? Yes. Yeah. Then I think I'm prepared because I think sometimes too, it's a, well, I, I, I got to be prayed up and I got to read and I got to do that and I got to study and I got to, mm -hmm. but if I have an ongoing relationship with the Lord, I'm not winging it. Mm -hmm. Right. I am genuinely partnering with the Lord and I get downloads. He'll give mm -hmm. me a word. He gives us a scripture. He, you know, we'll text throughout the week and one of us will be like, you know, I've been thinking about this. Or this has been on my heart. That's the Lord speaking to us. And then we speak it out because someone else is, is thinking it too. We're yeah. just the vessel mm -hmm. that the Lord used so that one of the listeners, one of our sweet listeners, mm -hmm. would be able to say, Oh, I've been thinking about that. We didn't know that, but the yeah. Lord did. So if we're obedient and we're in our word and we do our thing we have that that constant relationship with the lord mm -hmm. then we will always be prepared that's right good. that's really good <laughs> so yeah. i mean why i'm one to overthink it mm -hmm. but but if i just trust mm -hmm. the lord and i stay in that relationship then i'm always prepared yeah that's right. Which just brings to mind that scripture, be ready in season and out of season. Mm. It's like, and I think you said something about this in the podcast last time is, um, you likely already have what you need to get started. Yes. And so just as an encouragement to our listeners, like if God is calling you to do something, you likely already have what it takes yes. to get it done. And God has equipped you to do it. <laughs> yes. So, so get out the boat and do it. <laughs> right. And because I was just going to say, yes. so step out of the boat. Yeah. Yeah. One step. It takes one step. Step out. Yeah. And then just watch and see what the Lord does in it. Because obviously he gave it to you for a reason. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. Well, I just, I wanted to look this up real quick because I'm like, this is it right there. <laughs> First Peter 4.10. Mm -hmm. Each one should use whatever gift mm -hmm. he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. That's good. Oh, that's real good. Yes. Is that the same chapter that talks about the body of Christ? Or um, is that a different section? I think it's a different section. Okay. Anyways. Carry but <laughs> but <laughs> it's just the thing is like, just you, you all have gifts. Mm -hmm. Use them to serve others because mm -hmm. that's administering God's grace in its various forms. Mm. I was thinking about this this morning is like... Um, my my husband always talks about how God is like multifaceted, like a mm. diamond, yeah. you know. And yeah. so you can catch a glimpse of him at different angles, oh. and something else sparkles. Mm. And Gosh, I'm like, good. I was just thinking about all of us 
mm-hmm. you know, in the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. It's like if we all have that different vantage point of God and he's at work in us in a slightly different way than somebody else, yes. how sparkly, oh. you know? It's just like, <laughs> anyway... With God's Hashtag grace, she is sparkling. She, she is sparkling. <laughs> I don't think that's in the Bible anymore, but I like it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but yeah, when we when we use our gifts that are given to us by God mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to glorify God, yes, you know, we just yeah. make Him shine brighter, and mm-hmm. and we really do fulfill His work because why would He give us those things and then not want us to use them? Why would He, exactly, you know, yeah. put something on your heart like mm-hmm. doing a podcast, you know? Or treating someone to lunch, or yeah. um, having an encouraging word for somebody, or mm-hmm. leading a team. You know, mm-hmm. all kinds of things. He's gifted each of us to do yeah. something yeah. that you're good at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and it's unlike anybody else. So, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know, when people say you do you, I'm just just, yeah. do, just you. do you. Yeah, mm-hmm. just do you because <laughs> yes. you've got the sparkle that. That no one has just like you so mm-hmm. yeah so um, good oh. so good <laughs> so then how do we bring this right back around to jacob and sarah mm. well that's a tough one because <laughs> <laughs> that's where we yeah. started yeah. on this episode of she is mm-hmm. yeah i think it's just yeah just Staying connect in that connection with God, mm-hmm. and not just running off to do your own thing, mm-hmm. and forgetting Him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. you know, it's like everything we do, if it's because of Him and for Him, let's not forget about Him in the process. Yes, right. and are we trusting Him in that process, mm-hmm. no matter how long it takes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gosh, that was so good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're just talking about God being faithful mm-hmm. to His promises, and that no matter what it looks like in our eyes, it's always right on time. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so good. Well, thank you all for tuning in to the She Is podcast once again by Refuge City Church. And we pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you're wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and come into my heart to stay. God, help me to hear your voice and help me to grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. And we encourage you to keep in touch with us between podcasts. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. We have the links for those in the show notes. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week. Mm -hmm. So once again, thanks for listening and subscribing and sharing the She Is podcast with your friends. And remember, until next time, you are right on time. Mm -hmm.